Jennifer Lopez is getting candid. The singer sat down with comedian Nikki Glaser for Interview Magazine and opened up about many personal topics, including her self-esteem journey and outlook on life after a challenging few months. Jennifer filed for divorce from husband Ben Affleck in August on the heels of canceling her This Is Me Live tour. Jennifer told Nikki that she was devastated about the tour decision, but needed time away from the spotlight to reprioritize things in her life, sharing, I can't wait to get back out there. I have the most understanding and loving fans in the world. Some fan bases can be spicy. Mine are just a bunch of lovers. I was so devastated to let anybody down, but I just needed to be with my kids and myself and really dig down deep into things that were happening in my life. And I'm glad I did because it was a really difficult time for me. Probably the hardest time in my life, but it was also the best time because I got to do that work on myself. Though the piece was published October 9th, the magazine noted that the interview took place a month earlier, right after the actress had attended the Toronto International Film Festival. And JLo explained how she struggled with self-esteem over the years, even despite her incredible success, saying, My whole life has been proving my enoughness. Dealing with feeling like you're enough from when you're very young is something that you don't figure out for a long time, because you're not looking at yourself like that. Something is driving you in your decisions and you don't know why. You start going, wait a minute, what the is going on here? Later in the conversation, Nikki pointed out that JLo seems to have found the bar for her next person who comes along, leading the singer to reveal that that's not at the forefront of her mind. Here's the thing, there's no new bar because I'm not looking for anybody. How's that? She said, confirming that it's the first time she's been able to say that as a single woman, adding, You know what, for people who are romantics and love being in relationships and want to grow old with somebody, we think, I have to have that to be whole and happy, and you don't. Nikki later asked Jennifer if she regrets the pain she just went through, leading her to reply, Not one second. That doesn't mean it didn't almost take me out for good, it almost did. But now on the other side of it, I think to myself, that is exactly what I needed. Thank you, God. I'm sorry it took me so long. I'm sorry that you had to do this to me so many times. I should have learned it two or three times ago. I get it. You had to hit me really hard over the head with a sledgehammer. You dropped the house on me. Don't have to do it again. She continued that though she has finally gotten it, that doesn't mean she has everything figured out, but does maintain a positive outlook on the future. Now I'm excited when you say you're just going to be on your own. Yes, I'm not looking for anybody because everything that I've done over the past 25, 30 years, being in these different challenging situations, what can I do when it's just me flying on my own? She said, noting, what if I'm just free?